Hi. Uh, what can I help you find? Hey, yeah. Um, so my girlfriend sent me in here. Apparently, I need to start taking a better care of my skin. Mm -hmm. um, she recommended this uh, kale <laughs> products. We have kales, but I promise you'll be a lot happier with lab solutions. Plus, you'll save money. Here, have okay. a seat. All right, great. Please. You know, your girlfriend is right. Between the sun's rays, the, the dryness in LA, the pollution, shaving, your skin takes a beating. Sure. <laughs> Absolutely. So, let's just... What are you doing? Well, we have to start with clean skin, so I'm gonna give you a complimentary mini facial. Yeah, you know what, that's okay. Um, I think I'd just be a little bit more comfortable if um, it was a woman. <laughs> Sir, I can assure you there is no reason to feel uncomfortable. I've given facials to men many times. Oh, great. Can I help you? Yes. No. He's my customer. <sighs> James, doesn't the Clinique counter need a restock? I don't work for you, Vicky. No. You're a Lab Solutions rep pushing Lab Solutions product. I heard you asking about kale. Yeah. I think I can help you with that. That would be great. Whoa. And if I may, who would take complexion advice from such a blotchy-toned person? You need a face peel stat. Oh. How does a white man even get that ashy? You did not just throw a dual action face scrub at the back of my head. Oh God. should wait in the car. What? What is wrong with you? Why are you in this mood? I hate my job. James, she's a fragile 80 year old woman who needs to know there are people who will help her through this. Yeah. I thought we could sit with her while I'm not read from Corinthians. Great. Why didn't you tell me to bring something? Now I'm the idiot who shows up at a death party empty handed. <gasps> I've got skincare samples in my car. Say these. Okay. Maybe she's not here. We should go. Oh! What do you want? Mrs. Cole, it's, it's Ray Russo. I was friends with Keith like 20 years ago. Oh yeah. I remember you two cocksuckers together. What the fuck are you doing here now? Uh, we brought coffee and donuts. I brought flowers. I know you. You were on that show with the farm. Do that line. I guess I'll just be collecting my pig and heading home. I remember it funnier. Um, Mrs. Cole, we have some sad news. Keith's dead. He passed away a couple of days ago. Yeah, well, what do you know? Are you okay? Uh, I brought my Bible. I thought that maybe we could pray, if you like. How much? As much as you like, it's, it's a big Bible. How much is he worth? What am I getting? That's why you're here, isn't it? Well, Mrs. Cole, actually, Keith was in debt. The, the bank is taking everything. <laughs> why am I not surprised? <laughs> that ungrateful little shit's been dead to me for 15 years, so you all can keep your sad little story. Do not darken my door again. She is the worst person I have ever met. Ah! Done! Daddy. Yeah, I have. I was wondering what happened to you at the gym today. It's not like you to miss our workouts. I'm sad. Yeah? 
You had a major loss yesterday. Glad your friends are there for you. Why does it sound like you're not actually glad? You didn't call me? You didn't ask me to come over and comfort you? I'm your boyfriend, and you tell me about this horrible thing through a text message as you're crawling into bed. Yeah, I'm sorry. I know. Did you think of me at all during the process? What process, Dwight? There was no process. There was shock and numbness. I called the guys because they knew Keith. I knew they'd get it. And I want to understand. The three of us know why Keith did it, okay? We know his struggle. We deal with it every day. What struggle? Oh my God. This is what I'm talking about. You're 34 years old. You can't know. You've already got a house and all this money. You've done everything right for your career and your investments and everything is just falling into place for you in a way that it's not for me. And I should be happy for you. And I am. But also, I resent it a little bit. More than a little, a lot. And I know that makes me an asshole and a terrible person, but I don't care. I'm in my 50s. That makes me unemployable in this town. I've got $60,000 in credit card debt. Nothing in the bank for my retirement. So, you know, fuck my golden years. The only way I can dig myself out of this ray-shaped sinkhole that is my life is to crank out a game-changing new spec script that makes the entire town shit itself and say, oh, fuck, he's good. This is the gay brother, straight brother. Body swap movie, yes, yeah. yes, my passion project. But see, that's not gonna happen because I've gotta get a job at Office Depot stocking sparkle pens so I can pay my gas bill, leaving me no time to write that script. And also, no time to work out, which I know must sound absurdly superficial to you kneeling here given my present life situation, but it's essential to me staying even a little bit fucking sane. Okay. You're right. Maybe I can't grasp the nature of the pressure you feel you're under, but by not being under it, maybe I can see another way. My house is about to be gutted. I, I, I need somewhere to live. You could use help with your bills and rent. I can move in and help cover some expenses while you could focus on your game-changing script. Free of stress. We both get what we need. I don't understand, Dwight. Why would you do that? I'm in love with you. Mm -mm -mm.